Right, I am back. Sorry, the telephone rang. It was my kitchen fitter trying to establish a few details. Gosh, it's been it's been all go today. I've been choosing radiators, <laughs> doing all sorts of things, and uh, I'm just checking. I'm just paranoid checking the record button was actually on. I can't even remember what I was doing with this pencil, but I'm just putting some colour down really. I want to sort of fade it to the outside because I'm thinking the crystals are going to be have some shade. I'm going to put a little bit more down here. As if my book is really yellow and I can't work out why. I don't know if my lamp is on the wrong setting. No, it's not. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, <laughs> really distracted, sorry. I'm just popping some colour in the gaps. Yeah, I've got a... Apparently the boiler I want isn't available, so I've got to pick a boy a different boiler, which uh, is is a bit of a responsibility. But anyway, I'm going to now go in with this um, warm grey three, and just take the colour to the edge really, fill in all the gaps. Now I don't mind that this. I'm trying to make it actually look a little bit rough because you know I'm saying it's. I want it to look a bit like it's stone and stone isn't even so I'm doing this sort of scumbling colouring and trying to just make it look a bit of white showing through and things. I don't know what's going on with the light in here it's very strange I feel like it keeps getting lighter and darker I think I'm imagining things so there's our base I'm just going to leave that there um, I may come in and add a bit more at the end but I think it's okay now we've got these crystals now we I did think I could try them all different colors but I don't think that's going to work because it wouldn't look right they're all coming from the same source so I think they would all probably be the same color and I was trying to think of colors and I'm looking at my page which you can't see and thinking above it I'll move my book so you can see we have the stardust so I don't really want to use colors from that and or the mushroomy color so I'm thinking maybe um um, although we've got emerald green here in our key, look how shiny it is. Um, I thought we might use some emeraldy greens. I think it's quite a nice um, colour to use for sort of crystals. So I'm actually going to start with a really dark one. We're going to go in with our deep cobalt green, which we did use again for the key. Now I'm looking at the sides that are shaded. Now I'm a bit confused because if it was dark here, I don't know if it would be dark there as well, but I'm just going to follow this and put this colour on every stripy face and I'm going to make it a little bit darker nearer the bottom and then fade it as we go up to the top like that. Okay, and hopefully you can see the difference. Yes, I'm just checking in the camera and you can. I'm going to just fiddle with it a little bit because... Uh, because I'm in that sort of mood. I'm feeling a bit um, agitated, not um, in a stress way, but because I've got lots to do. I've got to go and check my email and sort out boilers, but I don't really want to do it yet. So I'm just trying to take this nice and sl nice and slowly and calm myself down, which uh, is always very effective. So even with these, I'm doing them a little bit darker at the base and lighter at the tip. You see, I can't really choose a boiler without checking with my husband, so. And I can't, he's got a review at work today, so I can't phone him. So it would not, because they sometimes do them at the desk. Imagine if he's having a review with his boss and his phone rings and it's his wife. It's not going to look good, is it? So uh, he's he's fine. Um, he's not worried about it. He's he didn't expect anything much to come of it really. But uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, so he's he's okay. He's finding work a bit stressful. He's going to talk to his boss about a few issues. So uh, I don't know. But he always finds work stressful. So I'm not sure whether this job, this particular project he's on, is any different really. Oh, it's a dog barking. So I feel like I have had, I've been on the go so much today. So nice to just sit down and do a little bit of colouring. I've been um, 
first thing I had to, well, last thing last night I was trying to get a lot of jobs done and I did a few outdated my website. On my website, on my blog, um, every Saturday, in theory, <laughs> this is what I was catching up with, I put um, a list of all the tutorials that I've released that week. So that if you've missed any, you can go and check, really. And I haven't done it for two weeks, so I did that last night just before going to bed. And I had a whole list of other things to do. I knew I'd never get through them all, but I've been working through them bit by bit today. So what I've been doing is I've been putting together some more compilation videos for my members of my channel. Now these aren't videos that um, n that are only for members. These are... Um, let me explain. So all my videos, my sort of normal daily videos, are, are free for everybody and that, that's always going to be the case. But to give my members a little perk, because they pay a membership, I give them something a little bit extra. So I give them early access to some videos. When, when a video like this page, they would have had, on the first day, when the mushroom video came out, they would have had a compilation video of every picture on this page in one big video so I just sort of glue them together. I'm a bit naughty, I don't edit them that well, I just glue them together so they can um, so they can watch them all if they want to just go ahead and watch the whole thing in one go. And whereas you guys who don't pay for membership get one a day so you don't miss out at all you just have to wait but to give members a little bit extra what I've been deciding to do is to make compilation videos of some of my other pages from books so I've had um, I can't I haven't got it here anymore I put it away because I needed to tidy up so Worlds of Wonder for example by Johanna Basford um, it's got several pages on it where I did um, videos for small parts so there's a page with some tickets on it and they're all different designs so I've made a video with all of those tickets in one long video together rather than you having to try and search through my um, different places to try and find them it's uh, it's there for you so I've done that I'm doing that it's what I'm working on at the moment it might not be ready by the time this video goes out now I'm going to do hookers green which is a still a fairly dark green but not as dark and I'm going to use that on some of the faces so they're not all going to be exactly the same so for example this one here we haven't got one of the faces as um, as the dark so we'll pop that in there like that and maybe here and so I'm making a few like that. I've done one with the bugs from World of Flowers. That's already gone up. Um, because those were recorded uh, sort of months apart. It's quite hard to find them if you want to find them on my channel because you have to know what they're called. Um, so um, so I, uh, I did that to make it a little bit easier. And I just recently did 30 Days of Flowers. I put those together in a compilation video so instead of you having to find each single video you've got them all in one place and um, what's the other one I did oh um, flip throughs of these books this is I'm actually using this book at the moment to help me with this the Helen Elliston books colour of special effects Helen Elliston look she's got a crystal page I'm, uh, I'm using it to help me with this video a little bit a little bit not completely um so um so all her books I've done flip throughs for so I decided that it might be good to um to do a I don't want that one um to make a video of all four flip throughs in a row so you can see all the books in one rather than having to find one and then find the other so I've done that as well this is um the thallo green and with these longer size I'm gonna do two colors this time so I'm gonna start at the base with this one which will be my darkest green and then I'm gonna fade it like that and that one Uh, so 
so it's, I'm doing the same thing on each bit so I'm just trying to fade it a little bit so basically here I'm layering it up a bit so I just go over and over where I'm going you can darken it with a different colour green if you like but I find this is quite an effective method and then I'm doing less like that so I thought if I could give my members a few more videos that are you know not brand new but just a bit easier to access and that might be good and uh, so that's that's what I've been doing I've also had um, I was making some nails for them and that sort of thing I had other kitchen stuff to sort out too and I was making I was actually getting this bug video ready which I haven't done yet um, <laughs> but I'm recording these are going out in you think it's still July recording this and these are going out late August so I'm getting ahead because of the kitchen work coming and I just don't know whether I'm going to have days and days of not being able to record or not being able to do quite so much and also I'm trying to get at the moment even before it started I seem to be really busy with doing phoning this person that person like this morning I had to make an inquiry about the cupboard that going to have built around something or other and something else and oh you know little bits and pieces to think about and then my husband started talking to me about a towel rail <laughs> oh god so uh, so much to think about and I do remember that there's a lot to think about because I have had it done before but really it's I think I pushed that into the back of my mind this is the light thalo green it's a much much lighter shade I thought it'd be fun to use a much lighter green on the ends, really fade it up like that. And on this one. They, because these have got this sort of shading on this side, it makes them a little different to colour in. I was going to say older, I don't think older is the right word. I just never coloured anything like them before, and I think that actually makes it fun. So, uh, now I've been I read the instructions on how Helen Elliston recommends you do this. It isn't quite like this anyway. Um, but she said at the end to use some um to make them shimmer. And she suggests what did she suggest? Um, um a shimmer nail polish, which I thought was fun. She said which has a very fine glitter in it. But obviously um she'd never come across a Securus um, glitter pen because <laughs> uh, that would probably do exactly the same thing I'm assuming but you wouldn't get this sort of high shine over the whole of it which you would with a nail polish but uh, I think it would be interesting but uh, I don't know how it would I guess it wouldn't leave too if you were careful and did it thinly it wouldn't leave much of a layer I was thinking would it be hard to colour on the back I don't think it would be it's a really interesting idea, but uh, anyway, we're not going to do that. I don't, I don't polish my nails, as you can probably see. I never do. It's just I have, I did at one time, but it actually doesn't. My nails don't seem to like it very much. I don't never do. I've never done my fingernails very much, only ever with clear or sort of pearlescent, but. Uh, um, I've uh, I used to do my toenails a lot. I used to I remember I used to have fun. I used to do each one a different colour. It's good fun. Now we've got these little round bits at the bottom, and I'm thinking maybe they would be the same colour as the our crystals. Oh, excuse me. So, but not exactly the same. So I'm going to use. Oops, actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to use the chrome oxide green fiery because it's quite a dark one and I'm thinking maybe they would be darker because they're down in the shadows using the same thinking that we were sort of using for the uh, for the stone colour now these are different obviously to the crystals I'm going to try and make them darker at the bottom and lighter up towards the top though as if they uh, they're catching the light on the top I'm really interested to see how other people have coloured this page because um, I haven't had a Hannah Carlson book for long, I haven't really seen many pictures from her book. I see a few, but 
never this page. I've seen a few of the ones with faces and things, and that's what sort of makes me scared of her books, <laughs> to be honest with you. Now we're going to get a white pen and start to play. No, that's I've got. I just picked an eraser out instead. No, I'm going to use my Jedi Roll number eight now. Because I've used Polly's, I know that it's going to work. If you use Prismas or some other types of pens, you might find the white bleeds, the, the colour bleeds through into the white. But I know with these that's not going to happen. Now at the top, we've got, it's paler. So I'm thinking we want to put a bit of white. Hang on. I don't need a bit of a scribble. Over the top of the um, black lines a little bit to make it look like it's all um, reflecting the light a bit. This is how Ella, Helen Elliston says to do it in her book. And it makes perfect sense to me to just lighten those tops where, where we're actually trying to make it look as if it's whiter here. Then we want to soften those edges. But we can still see some of the black through. And I think that works well because... Um, we're not eliminating all of the black lines in the whole picture and uh, it unless we did it would look a little bit odd completely eliminating them I think it just gives the impression of reflection and so I'm going to do that on each of the tips of each of these first of all and on the tops of the these parts too quite rough I don't know if you need to be really accurate I'm not sure that I do because I'm thinking about light isn't always in a straight line it can sort of hit at an odd angle there we go oh we've got this one and then we've got the tops of here like that now we can add now Helen said gives us advice to add lots and lots and lots more white and I'm thinking we might what she does which I really like is she does diagonal diagonal lines like this I would follow the angle of that though pen doesn't want to work. Hold on. Sometimes the ends get clogged up a little bit with um, with the pencil. There we go, it's better. Let's put a few lines here and here like this as if there's some shine. I like that. Oh, it's a siren. I'm not doing it on the this side because we'd never see it. And she also puts like dots to sort of make it look more like it's sort of reflecting light. We can put some of those on the top as well. Just lots of dots. We can do some on all sides actually. It's just dot. Let's just do some go dotty. <laughs> yeah, I'll be glad when we just sort of get some fitters in and stuff. He was talking about start dates and things so that's quite exciting but I don't actually know so uh, mm, so yeah it's uh, it's I'm not entirely sure what's going on but it's very exciting it's in my head all the time kitchen this kitchen that I'm sorry it must be really dull but uh, anyway let's talk about something else nearly done anyway so you can see we've got shine now what you could do not and um, before you did this you could use a white pencil to uh, my son shouting yes yes <laughs> it's quite funny you could use a white pencil to blend it a little bit and to make it whiter at the top that is a possibility but we haven't done that and what I'm going to do is I am going to add some shimmer and sparkle I'm just going to find my pen the jelly roll um, sparkle pens look really similar to the white ones. It always finds its way to the bottom of my pencil case. So this is the glitter pen. It's hashtag 700. 
Okay, now I'm wondering whether do I want to add it to all of it or just to a bit of it? And is that white dry? <laughs> Can you answer my questions? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so I'm just going to go for it and I'll start adding like a little layer of sparkle over everything. Now I'm not using the um, stickles. Now stickles are quite big. The um, glitter in it is quite big and rather than looking like a shimmery sparkle it actually does look like glitter which is brilliant if that's what you want but I think for this this slightly lighter touch with the smaller amounts of I think what I'm going to do is make it directional so I go up and down here like that and you'll see a stripe and I think that might be okay Now I'm contemplating whether to do this on the little ones down here or whether to leave those plain. But this um, is basically a glitter glue so it will dry and um, you won't see the sort of stripy glue bits or anything and you can always see your pencil through which is brilliant. So it's like a final glaze almost. You can get a glaze if you just want shine without sparkle. You can get um, glaze pens. Um, Sakura do do them. I've got a black one. I assume they do one in clear. But I have heard that they can be a bit sticky. Um, even when they're dry. But I don't know. I haven't tried. Um, my black glaze pen did go a bit sticky. I'm going to do these because I've gone on top of one by mistake. Um... My, um, my, let's, let me tip it for you. Look at that shine. Yeah, my one was sticky, but I used it, it was a double page spread, and I'd used a glaze pen in exactly the same place on both pages, so when I shut it, they, the glaze was against each other, so I think that might have been why, but I'm not sure. But uh, that, I have finished that now, so I'm going to, um, going to stop. But uh, I hope that's okay. So although it was these really dark greens, you know, we started with this really dark green. But it's gone quite pale and I think it look, makes it look more see-through and more stone-like. Um, I'm not sure if I would have maybe whited over all these lines. It might have looked a bit more stone-like. But I don't like to take away too much of the original drawing. Because I think we need to respect the artist. And that's obviously what she... Um, intended how she intended it to look and uh, who who am I to say that that is shouldn't be there so I don't really like always um, rubbing things out that's why I don't like taking away the white lines um, I do it occasionally in little bits and pieces like I did there but not completely because I feel it somehow doesn't feel respectful and that's just my personal opinion I've seen people who do it and it looks stunning <laughs> absolutely amazing but it's just not for me you know we're all different but uh, there we go um we're done thank you very much for watching i hope that was okay i hope you had fun um i hope you didn't get too glittery <laughs> thank you so much have a really lovely day and happy coloring